your story definitely goes in so many different places. You're at the source for five years. Uh -huh. You get the big seat two and a half years in. When did it start going left? For me? Um, when the Eminem thing happened, the Eminem Benzino battle, okay. everything was great going up until that point. But when that happened, I think that's when um, all hell broke loose at the source. And, 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 you know, I wrote a book about it. People know, um, what went down, but that kind I of want to bring people to your book. Cause I want to pull them through your story. Right. Um, so some people who are watching this may not be aware of this part of not just source history, but hip hop history. Hip -hop history yep. For sure. Yep. Um, so you just mentioned the Eminem Benzino battle. Mm -hmm. um, can you elaborate and I don't want to get too deep into that because right. I want to keep it focused I on you. Remember that? <laughs> um, so Eminem was an artist that, uh, you know, the source had in the unsigned hype column. So, so the source had always had like a really good relationship with him. And um, I don't know what the, like the first thing was that happened, but it became, you know, uh, Benzino put out a record. Uh, about Eminem, then Eminem responded, then it became really this big war between Eminem and the magazine. And we ended up doing a big story with some tapes that we found. Um, you know, so there's so much there, it's hard to kind of, um, kind of sum it up. Mm -hmm. But I will say from a business standpoint, Eminem, Interscope Records, they ended up pulling all of their advertising from the magazine. And that hurt the was- source. Hurt the source. That really hurt the source, right. Really hurt the source. I remember that time well. Yeah. Yep. Going back to you, you end up leaving the source not on good terms. No, I got fired. Wasn't on, on good phone. terms. I'm, I'm trying to say it nicely. <laughs> I was terminated on the phone. Yes, by Benzino. Re oh, it was over the phone. Absolutely. He called my phone. He was yelling at me for something. Um, it's in the book. I can't remember exactly, but um, I forgot what we were arguing over. I think it was, it was building, right? Like this Eminem drama, you know, like everything I was going through. I think they felt like I wasn't, you know, kind of, you know, I was torn. I was torn and maybe I wasn't carrying out the agenda um, the way they wanted to. I don't remember what, um, their reasons were um but uh for me i was going through some other things and people are familiar with the lawsuit and i, I want, I want to talk about that lawsuit because i feel like you were so far ahead of your time can can, can we pivot there for one second we can pivot there it's a it's a long story and it was um i always say hashtag me first because i don't feel like um back then people were very supportive of what I decided to do, right? And although people had had their own experiences um, in the industry or it, at that particular magazine, because of whatever was going on internally between me and, and, and Ray and Dave, I, I don't know, but it, there wasn't this sort of rally of like, Here's a woman who is um, fighting, you know, for that cause. I Kim, think. Kim, I, I just want to bring our listeners up to speed for okay. anybody who doesn't know your story intimately. Okay. You, and this is why you say me first. Mm -hmm. You did something that was unprecedented um, at the time, especially in entertainment. You bring a lawsuit against the source. Uh, sexual harassment, defamation, gender bias, and I believe there were a couple other things. That, that, there was four main, main um, claims. It was gender discrimination, sexual harassment, um, defamation, and what I consider to be the most important claim, retaliation. Because retaliation. the claims that I won on were defamation and retaliation. Now, um, I filed a complaint before I was fired. And I think that that complaint really kind of set things in motion. 
I was fired. You found a complaint for oh, what exactly? Uh, uh, for discrimination. Before with, you were fired. Within okay. the right, and they immediately fired me when I filed that complaint. Um, so the lawsuit, which I was fired in uh, 2005, and the lawsuit came out, uh, we went to court in 2006. But I don't think people knew the details of what was happening. What was important to remember, or what is important to remember for me, was that I had gone to law school. So I had sat through um, employment discrimination law, employment law, right? And all the while, I knew that a lot of what was happening was wrong. Did I put my head down while I was working and just, yeah, I did not say anything right away. I didn't, you know, I had this big job. I didn't stand up like, this is wrong. Like, they can't do that or they shouldn't do. I never did that. So when I did decide to do it, I think people felt like, well, she never did it before. She never said anything. She was cool with it. So we're not going to, you know, support her. Um, but I think, you know, now as we're seeing with a lot of stories that are coming out now, people held on to their stuff for 20 some odd years. I held on to mine for two years. At, at the two year mark, I was like, I can't take it anymore. You know, but I said something essentially and I filed the, the lawsuit and we, we went to federal court on that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.